Hi, Scooby Squad, it's me, Nerdburger, and your old pal, Scooby-Doo. Hello! And I'm your guide to the world of Scooby Apocalypse as part of the DC Hanna-Barbera Book Club. When we last left the Scooby gang, all of the world had gone to hell in a handbasket, according to Dr. Velma Dinkley, who's part of an underground research military facility. At this facility, four mad scientists had decided to release a virus which would mutate human genes to breed out things like greed and anger and make the world a better place. But unfortunately, things did not go as planned and it looks like it's brought on the apocalypse. Hence the name, Scooby Apocalypse. <laughs> now how did the rest of the Scooby squad enter the game? Well you see, Dr. Velma Dinkley decides to call upon Daphne Blake's Mysterious Mysteries, the now failing TV show, and its cameraman, Fred, to release the story because it seems that eyes are watching and Dr. Velma Dinkley thought the only way to get the story out without being caught was to get a failing TV show to do so. They then run into military dog trainer Norville Rogers. Yes, your pal Shaggy is working in the military facility and he's out walking his dog, Scooby Dooby Doo. Right, me! Now these four random people have joined together and are in lockdown in the underground research military facility, trying to break out, which is where things turn all Scooby-Doo-ish. Issue 2 is everything you could imagine from a Scooby-Doo comic. In fact, we should probably have a checklist, right? Because every Scooby fan knows there are certain things you want in your Scooby-Doo stories. Yes, Scooby fans, it's time to get out your pens and papers and join me in the Scooby-Doo checklist. Can I get a yikes? Oh, yes, definitely. Definitely a yikes. Perhaps a rut roll. Yes, we'll have one of those. What about a zoinks? A jeepers? Perhaps a jinkies. Yes, we can tick that times a thousand. A mystery machine? Perhaps a chase sequence involving a monster? And what about a Scooby Snack? Wait, no Scooby Snacks yet? What's with that? Maybe issue three will bring with us some Scooby Snacks. And finally, Daphne punching people in the face. Is that a new theme in Scooby Apocalypse? Issue number one, she punches Fred. Issue number two, she punches Velma. Who will she punch next? Speaking of Velma, issue number two saw us meet Velma's only friend, Kramer. What a lovely fellow. The two of them enjoy playing chess every lunchtime. Hi, Kramer. Ho, ho. Jinkies. What happened there, Kramer? Oh boy, those monster designs in issue number two blew my mind. It seems that they've taken a step away from the classic Scooby-Doo monsters. They're more horror inclined. You've got big swirly vortexes in throats and it seems that the different people's personalities create different monsters. They're all totally different. Every page has these glorious different monsters. Uh, and the colouring by Hi-Fi I specifically wanted to mention because it really looks like these pages are glowing. There's a scene where someone unfortunately is deceased uh, and their phone is laying in their hand and it really looks like that phone is lit up. It's incredible, it's beautiful and it's absolutely blood soaked and terrifying. I found issue two to be a lot more comedic too. So there was quite a serious tone throughout the book, but they really had it on point with the Scooby-Doo gags, the chasing scenes, the one-liners. Uh, James DeMatties and Keith Griffin did an incredible job once again of having that classic kind of Scooby feel, but giving it a more serious nature. I cannot wait for issue three. I'm not even joking. I get to read this ahead of you guys like one week and I'm already counting down the days to issue three. So now you're all caught up with issue number one and I've given you my little review of issue number two of Scooby Apocalypse. I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, here's my fan theory. I believe that the four scientists may in fact be the four horsemen of the apocalypse. It's just a thought. Uh, also, did any of you catch the Watchman badge hidden in issue number one? And ding, ding, ding! Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen, as to who Daphne will punch in issue number three. I hope you guys are enjoying Scooby Apocalypse as much as me. It is a dream come true for this Scooby-Doo fan. <laughs> I hope you'll join me here on the DC Fans channel for more Hanna-Barbera Book Club. Subscribe for more Scooby-Doo fun. And I'll catch you guys next month for Scooby-Doo. Scooby Doo Apocalypse number three. See you later, guys! Ruby, Ruby, Ruby!